What's going on, man? It's Vash, and I know it's been a long time since I made a video. It's been about a week, but uh, family over here again, okay? Family over here again is nothing but kids, so you might even hear some shit in the background. I was just tired of waiting because these motherfuckers just screaming. They're talking loud as shit. They just barge into this motherfucker no matter what I'm doing. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's the deal right about now. I don't know what the fuck their mom is. I don't know what's happening right now, but... It's just been kids. It's just been nothing but kids over here this whole time. So I've had to entertain them. So I wasn't able to. I wasn't. I haven't even watched some of the anime. I haven't watched Death by Kiyoshi yet. You know. So, um, but, but, but I want to talk about Snafu 2 episode 13. As you can see, I'm tired as fuck too. Though I haven't even been sleeping. So yeah. But Snafu 2 episode 13. That shit pretty much ended with them saying. You motherfuckers are gonna have to wait until next season. Or you motherfuckers are gonna have to buy the light novel. <laughs> I got to the end and I was just like, nigga, what the fuck? I mean, I still love the episode though, man, because the only thing, the only problem that I had though, but I'm glad he addressed it. I'm glad Hodgman addressed it. Because the only problem that I had was I was just like, why is this, why are the characters being so ambiguous? Because Yui was never saying anything concrete. She was just being flippant and she was being ambiguous. I was like, what the fuck? And even Yukino was just being ambiguous. I was like, what the fuck is happening? But then Hashimoto was just kind of like, yeah, if she had said it, she didn't say the shit, so she left the shit like away, but we all knew what she was getting at because if she had said the shit, then it would have been, you know, fucked um, for, for the most part. So I just kind of like, okay, at least he addressed it. Because if he hadn't addressed it, I would have been madder than a motherfucker. Shout out to Dashi. But this episode, though, man, I was just like, damn. They went on a date. All three of them go on a date. Which I thought was sweet. I thought it was weird, but I thought it was sweet. I thought all three of them went on a date. It's kind of weird. But, um, I, now, because I watched it raw at first, so I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was just kind of like, is Yui trying to put them two together? Because it seemed like. She saw that Yukino was feeling some type of way, and she saw, you know, Hachiman was struggling or whatever he was going through. So she was just kind of like, because watching the shit raw, I was just kind of like, is she putting them together? Because you kind of see they going out and all this sort of stuff, and Hachiman and Yukino have moments where they just kind of like were together. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of confused, and you know. And then at one part where they were looking at those jellyfish or whatever, and Yuki, I mean, Yui was like, this reminds me of the fireworks. And at first, I'm seeing that memory. I'm like, who was thinking this? And it was Hachiman. He was remembering watching the fireworks with her, and he looks down at her. I was just like, whoa. So are we really getting the whole, the, the, the split sort of, I don't know what decision to make shit right now? I was just like, really? I wasn't expecting that shit. Like, I know this shit called it My Team Romantic Comedy Snafu, but for the most part, it's just been dramatic. So to finally get the romance level into it where the main character is split between the two, it kind of threw me off. It kind of threw me off. You know, and then uh, Yui's, like, showing her true personality, I guess, where she's kind of like, I'm not the nice girl that you think I am, sort of stuff. And we see that, whereas... Yuki know is presented as this sort of strong independent sort of woman she's not she's a dependent sort of personality and Yui is kind of the independent force just like whoa what the fuck is happening you know what I'm saying so I wasn't expecting any of that you know and then they keep saying that Yuki know is like the answer to whatever the fuck question that they might have had you know what I'm saying? But uh, Hodgman just like, no, she needs to find the shit on her own. You know, so I'm assuming that by that they saying that if, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. You know, it's been too long since I watched episode one, but I really don't know. I, I really had no idea what the fuck was happening because I watched it twice, once raw and once with the subtitles. But again, it's been too long since I watched this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking, it is fucking Monday the 29th right now I think the episode came out like Friday and was translated that Saturday so can't fucking remember everything that happened but it was still a great episode though great fucking episode let me know what you feel about the episode man I apologize for it being that late I can hear the motherfucker talking right now in the background so there's that but uh 
Thank you for subscribing to my channel, man. Thank you for watching my videos and all that sort of stuff, man. Subscribe if you would like to see more and all that sort of stuff, man. Vash